Hi, this is Tim with Garden Hands. Today we're going to do our little, uh, our special little project that we saw an idea from um, on Facebook, I think it was, on a site that I visit that has windmills on it. So we're going to put these baskets, I'm going to turn you around here. These are our baskets that we made. Um, here's one, here's three of them here, but... And we did a video of these that'll be out before this one. This is what it is, a single one. And this will get filled up with potting soil in this area here. It'll have a liner in that and then she'll put petunias in there and we'll put an irrigation line to it. So Jody has been to her local garden store with the garden mobile and she has her soil and we have our irrigation tubing and fittings here and the liner for the inside of that basket and that's going to go on oh we got oh the other the important part our passengers our petunia passengers what kind do we have do you have bubble gum bubble gum yeah. <laughs> and fuchsia and get what the white ones with the purple lines are Okay. Supertunias. Supertunias. Okay. Here we go. And here's our gardener, gardener Jody. Okay. Silverberry. Supertunia vistas. Okay. Okay. And here's another one of her flower beds with her tulips. They're kind of getting. The weather hasn't been the best for them. It's been kind of cool and rainy the last day, so they're. They don't have their sunshine like they'd like. And the hostas are coming out. So that, I don't know if I can get a very good picture of it. You'll see it obviously afterwards. It's gonna go on the first, I call it the first tier, this iron right here. The first one will be just right above it. And then the second one will be just on the next level. So there'll be three baskets. There'll be one on the back side over here one on this front side and one on the other side. The other side obviously has that, the old building there that they used to cool the milk in. It's the south side. That'll get the most sun, or they'll all get sun, but that one is the most visible from the road. For people looking at it, it'll look good. Um, there's room for a lot more of them up there. We could go all the way to the top. It's like 40, 45 feet, something like that. But we're not gonna we're gonna try out these two levels this year and if that works we'll be quite happy that's an apple jody said that's it and then we got our magic bag of tools so without further ado i'll go get the lull so we can get up there and then we will start we've got five of our six uh baskets hay baskets homemade hay baskets up on the windmill and we're going to show you what we did to get those up there with this last one which is closer to the ground we're not going to fall all that stuff anyway we have one here and the wind is going to fight us on this a little bit too sorry about that but we'll stick this liner in there when we get up on top we put the dirt in it Get in there. This goes up in the lull. You are so agile. So now we have our lull loaded with our potting soil, our tools the flowers, a little bit of fertilizer, and this basket, which will then go up and we'll complete the fifth of the sixth baskets. We also put our irrigation up on top somewhat. We were a little bit short on pieces there. We didn't count right, so we've got it there. And it isn't too bad to go up there with a ladder afterwards. This lower tier is real easy to get to, so that one's kind of a We'll get it when we get our pieces. 
So we'll hoist it up here. Just lay it. Just don't wiggle around too much in the basket here. We get this one put in then that'll hold it pretty good. These clamps are sure handy. So there, that's how we get them hung up. And that'll come back down a little bit when you get some weight in it, so it'll level up, I think. Next, we'll get our cloth or our fabric spaced out a little bit, and then we'll throw some dirt in there to hold that in place. And then we trim off what we think is extra. There's a little extra that's a little bit wider than we needed. Happen to have dirt. How many bags of dirt did you use? Potting soil. What did we use per about three cubic feet per planter? Is that what it was? Two and a half bags, kind of? This fabric's quite a bit lighter than the others. The others was a plastic fabric plus a felt piece on it. This isn't as handy to work with, is it? Not that I'm handy. there so we were one bag short on the kind of soil you were using so we had a little bit left from potting vegetable plants that kind of maybe saved it huh probably got enough with this next bag yeah. 13 yards of dirt later And this basket is on the 
this may not be the prettiest basket being on the east side and a little bit of shade over here not too much any of the baskets this is the one that i don't know how well it's going to do the petunias like a lot of sunshine and this will have some shade well it'll you'll see how good it does then yeah, right that's right always a mixture yep That isn't as fine a material, is it? No. But we'll see. And that is as much as you have. That'll work. If I have to add a little bit, that, I can always come up with a ladder on this one. That's kind of cool. You get to use a ladder to work on your flower bed. See, it, be it beats bending over. It's not as safe. There. So I'll hold this while she does. Oh, we got to cut that off, Joe. Here. This whole year on this project is going to be a little bit of an experiment to see if we, how much fabric you want in here, how much soil you want, how the waters work up in the air like this. I think they'll work all right. Um, what else is going to be a variable on this thing? Shade on this side. Yeah. Hopefully the windmill stands up and doesn't fall over with all the extra weight. It shouldn't. How old is the windmill? Lindsay's windmill said 1936 on a date on the head on the drive up above. This one I don't know. I'm going to guess it's around that vintage. So would it have been a windmill that your ancestors put on here? Yep, yep. Before that I don't know what they would have done I guess they had a different it's a little ways down to the river they wouldn't have used the river I, I don't know what they would have done maybe it, the windmill was older than that than maybe it was in the earlier 1900s pre-1900 even I guess I don't know I could find out switch so next she's going to put on her little bit of fertilizer for these she probably put a whole handful in good size handful um, for you to have six of these petunias here oh there you go we have there super tunia vista bubble gum say that three times fast um, silverberry and fuchsia are the three varieties she has and she's got a little bit of an order that she puts them in she thought maybe next year she may not put them in the same order in case you have one that doesn't do as good it won't be the same right up above it also it won't be as good right above it it'll kind of vary but this year will be an experiment um, on the rest of them we did put the irrigation we're not going to do that because we don't have the parts it's just a drip irrigation with little flag emitters. They're up on the top ones, but I don't think you can see them up there. Anyway, I'm slowing down production here. She's already going to have the sixth one in before I get done talking. And here's number six. No, wait, not six. How many baskets are there? Six? This is number 36 today. Cool. Done. That's a wrap. Except for putting on the irrigation on these. So that'll get done next when we get the parts. I think so Jody said in about a month, this whole basket 
affair, which doesn't look that bad, but it is kind of different when it's all black with that um, fabric on. It looks kind of dingy or a little bit, but in about a month, these will all be hanging. The flowers will hang over it, and you won't see, yeah, down to her hand there, down to her dirty hand. You won't even see any of the baskets, so then it'll look pretty cool when half the windmill is covered with flowers, so stay tuned. We will keep you posted. Thanks for now. Thanks for watching Garden Hands with Tim and Jody.